Hey you guys, it's Sophia. Um, today I found a um, book about a story of a dog, which is completely true, and I found it kind of inspiring and really cute, so I'm going to read it to you guys today. Let me share the screen first. And there we go. So it's called From Streets to Treats, A Dog Story, written by Belle Richardson. Um, hello, I'm Belle, and this is my dog, Laika. I named her after a Soviet dog who was launched into orbit decades ago. When you launch something into orbit, um, it means that you put them in a spaceship and launch them out into space. So it seems like... Um, this dog was named after the first dog to ever be put into space. She was the first animal to ever see space outside of our atmosphere. That Laika was a street dog. My Laika was a street dog too. Laika has fit into our little family so well. She loves being near us, whatever we happen to be doing. She plays games with us and goes for lots of rides and cabs to friends' houses. Her favorite thing is to go to the cricket ground with my husband and watch him play. Street dogs have it rough. They spend most of their time finding water, shelter, and food. They always need to be on the lookout. Also, they often get dirty and sick. It's easy to get parasites like worms on the street. By the way, parasites are little organisms that um, usually feed on other bigger animals. For example, worms you might find um, in like a dog's stomach or other organs and they're basically feeding off of the dog's body. Some people volunteer a lot of their time looking for animals on the street. I take these animals to the vet and find temporary places for them to stay. This is called fostering and the animal lives here which people took uh, people look for a forever home for them. A man like this found Laika and I offered to foster her. I went down to the street to meet the man. He put Laika in my arms and she looked up at me. She gave me a big lick on the cheek and was, cheek and was panting from how excited she was. The man was glad to see that she was comfortable so quickly. Even then, I knew I didn't wanna just foster her. I wanted to adopt her and keep her permanently. Laika was in not very good shape. She was super skinny and didn't have very good nutrition. She had probably been eating trash to survive. She was only four months when I got her, but she was missing a lot of fur from stress. Laika was not house trained. She peed and pooped all over the house. She knocked over bottles so that she could drink what was inside. She was also scared of hands. We had a lot of work to do. The first thing was to get Laika to trust us and to know that we made the rules. She growled and nipped when she wanted to do something we didn't want her to, but we were patient and kind to her and she learned. We used treats and playtime as a reward for good behavior. She loved playing games like tug of war. Her favorite toy was Sneaky Squirrel, as you can see in this picture. He squeaked at a frequency that only dogs can hear. She could hear him and we could not. Now that Laika had learned to act around us, we had to get her used to other people and dogs. We introduced her to friends and their dogs. We taught her how to behave with other dogs on the street. She learned how dogs say hello and play. We also taught her how to sit, stay, and cross the road. She was so good that we went to a special dog park with a pit, a trampoline, and swimming pool just for dogs. Laika learned how to do puzzles to get treats. Some of the puzzles were toys we got from the shop. Other times we made them from boxes that she could rip apart. It is good for dogs to explore different things. Problem solving stops them from getting bored. And dogs are very good at figuring things out. They're also very smart. By her first birthday, she had gone through an enormous transformation. She had a healthy coat, which means fur, she was house trained and she had learned the meanings of words like walk, treat, and good girl. We made her a special meat patty with carrot icing as a cake. Dogs can't eat a lot of things. People need to learn a lot when they get a dog. 
Having Laika has taught me a lot of things about how to have a good relationship with a puppy pal. Even though Laika has been with us for less than two years, it is hard to imagine life without her. I can't wait to rescue more dogs and welcome them into our pack. All right, that's the end. I hope you guys liked that story and um, stay tuned for more videos.